You're listening to the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080, 104.1 FM, ASCO. I dug this one up during the break. Okay. David couldn't believe it. Chosen from among all others by the immortal elders, Solomon, Hercules, <laughs> Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, Mercury, Billy Batson and his mentor travel the highways and byways of the land on a never-ending mission to right wrongs, to develop understanding, and to seek justice for all. In time of dire need, young Billy has been granted the power by the immortals <laughs> to summon awesome forces at the utterance of a single word. Shazam! Come out of his that trailer, cool. get struck by lightning, and that then go like, fly away. That was like the only cool part of the show was the beginning. <laughs> That's who I talked to right there, Jackson Bostwick. Right That's there. him? Yeah, he's a really nice guy. You know who the big actor on that show was? Was Les Tremaine. And Les Tremaine was the guy that played the character Mentor. And he was like in a bunch of 40s and 50s like gangster drama murder mystery movies and stuff where he would play like the mobster guy or a cop or something, a private detective. You know, I would think it would be easy for the guy who played Shazam to be humble because I would think, you know, uh, playing a character like that would be very humbling. Oh, yeah. I th he seemed, he, he's always been such a nice guy. I just remember, I thought that was so cool in the 70s that this dude actually sat down and, and, and autographed and said th wrote, thank you, Kenny, for watching the show on a, on a glossy and sent it to me. I thought that was pretty cool. So, obviously got to be a cool you know, dude. So I, I watched uh, a couple of movies this, this weekend. One of the ones I watched was Iron Sky, and that's the one about the Nazis that flew off to the dark side of the moon. Oh, yeah. I heard and, you talking about and, that. And, you know, it's 2008 or 2011, and they're coming back to invade the Earth. I watched that movie. That movie was fun. Uh, another one I watched, though, was I watched a movie last night. I don't know the name of it, but it was hosted by uh, Elvira. Oh, okay, yeah. The Mistress of the Cassandra Dark. Cassandra Peterson. I think that's her name. That's her name, yeah. Have, how long has it been since you watched a movie that oh. was hosted by Elvira? Oh, well, back when the show was on, I used to adore her. She was one of my favorites. Billy, I saw so many... I mean, I don't, I don't want to sound like a dirty per Areola mm -hmm. and, and um, Virginia's yeah. and, and uh, <laughs> pub, public hairs in the film. <laughs> and watching, one, watching one of those vampire things. And oh. there are just a bunch of women frolicking with each other. I was like, wow, I can't believe that ever got on TV. And this wow. Was, it was, it was yeah. incredibly racy hmm. and incredibly, yeah. I mean, borderline soft porn, I think, is what it was. Because there were, oh. I mean, they, they were just, dude, I mean, that was not fake. They were really, you know, what, doing all this stuff and... What this network and did it wow. and that and was it airing on? It was on. Yeah, yeah, that was on. That was on. You folks are you folks are missing the demonstration. That was on. That was on a uh, 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 television yeah, on yeah, her on her show. It was on her show. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, wait. Does this? A, but she's hosting. A, she's hosting again. Did you know that? I so was this new? That. No, no, this was old. Okay, because she's going to be hosting I think again. Eighty three is when. Uh, wow. Uh, doing another. Uh, I think maybe it'd be on, happening on Netflix. Actually, she's going to bring it back. Really? And you know what? She looks just as beautiful as she ever did, oh, man. She's, she's a very beautiful lady. And, and she's always been fun, but I'm surprised to hear that because usually she didn't do that racy material. I don't remember. That, you know, right, I, you know yeah. from HBO? Or I remember when I was a kid that my parents wouldn't let me watch it. And I thought that that's because they were scary, you know, vampire and werewolf movies and stuff. Yeah. But no, they were really, really dirty movies. She was, a, actually, she was just, a, she's just a gorgeous woman. If you guys want to see her as other characters, she was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, at, in the biker bar scene, she was the head. Oh. She was the lead biker, and then she was in Cheech and Chong's uh, next movie. Was she? She was help me Wamba, help me Wamba. When the incredible, ironically enough, the Incredible Hulk type character comes yeah. busting in the the wall, she's one of the girls that's being oh, held by the bad guy. Interesting. Yeah, she's yeah. like she keeps yelling out help course, me Wamba. I don't think she has the black wig on, so she looks. No, she's different. redhead. She's, she's a, a natural redhead. redhead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, naturally a redhead. I'm Just, look for that. Yeah. yeah, she's really funny, really funny character actress. Absolutely. And, so, and really, note. and honestly, you know, she's self-made, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know who that was? That you know that was? Chris Spencer, yeah, wasn't it? Was Chris yeah, Spencer, I yeah, recognize just, Chris, yeah. Out. I was going to say hi to him, but we didn't even say hi. He What's just, wrong with that man? He just left me a secret message. Secret <laughs> message from yeah. Chris, what was it? It says, get Kenny off the air right now. He didn't want to say hi. He just popped in, I didn't even notice him. There he is, Chris. He's back. Chris, how you doing? Chris, man. Get on the mic. Get on the mic. Say hi to everybody. How have you been, Chris? Good to see you, buddy. I was just thinking about you, man. How you been? I've been good. That's cool. Working. 
Right on. Take doing care this. of the boy. Yeah, yeah. Kid's doing good. He's probably getting big now, huh? Oh, he's huge. He wears a size 10 and a half in men's. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Jeez, dude. Yeah. And talk about comic, comics and comic and stuff. Your, your son, he's really into comic books, isn't Didn't he used to be? like? Well, he's just a book reader. Oh, he okay, read. okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's very much into books. And wow, that's really. Books and stuff, oh, so, really? Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. So nice to see you, man. You too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is yeah, place. Yeah, we've been. Good, I, Chris. I'm gonna get back yeah. in here. I, I gave Dave my email address, so he's Good. gonna send me that. Hey, well, I'll get a hold right. of you, Dave. I'll get a hold Good of you, Chris. Good to see you, buddy. You. All right, see you, see you soon, Chris. Good to see ya, Chris Spencer, boy. Wow, man. Damn. Blast from the past. The there, show huh? business lineup tonight here. Yeah, this yeah, day, what? I know. I ran into Nick Wilson on the way over here. We ran into Nick Wilson <laughs> at the bank <laughs> with his he, dog. He, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, four seven nine one zero eight zero two one eight five seven two six. Hmm. Uh, all right. Well, how about <laughs> yes, this? David? How about this? Mm. How many wheelbarrows of compost would you make, your body make? Oh, oh that's a kind of know, a weird I question. I heard about um, that. I heard what? about that, yeah. Right? Depends on what I had for dinner. Well, <laughs> in California, um, a, bill, a bill is being proposed that would allow people to be composted. Hmm. Once they've passed away, so right now you Allowed. can be you can be cremated, uh -huh. you can be buried, yeah, and you can be put out at sea. So there are three things you can do now. Okay. With this bill, there will be a fourth option, yeah, and that is to help have, have yourself broken down into mulch, uh -huh. and then I don't know they sell you but, at the Home Depot or something. But like, why can't I, why can't I just do that now though? Uh, because it's illegal. You have to be dead first, dude. I'm well, wait sure. a second. No, no, no. If I were, let's say I were just to like wander <laughs> off into the forest like somebody right. we know. Right. And croak. Wouldn't I just decompose and write that be it? I'm compost. I don't need to be allowed. You mean eliminate, yeah, eliminate the middleman? Is that what you're saying? Just, but how would well, they, they find you and well, spread you in your garden? That's what true. What garden? I'd be in the forest. I'd become part of the land again. One with the land. I like how they say allowed. As if you can't do it now. I can just wander off now to the beach. Well, you can't. Well, well so, so, Bill, you, you can't just grab your dead grandma, throw her in the garden, and, and you know, you can't do that well, now. No, but with this I have bill, to dig her up first. You'd, you'd, have, you'd be able to throw her in the, in the compost pile, and, uh, you know. What compost pile? It breaks her down. I don't know. Can it be my <laughs> compost pile, or does it have to be government compost pile? Because, look, if it's my, gover if it's my oh compost my pile, then I'm into it. I will love it. Because I would be into composting people as a business. But if only the government's going to allow it, then I'm uh, not David. Mm -hmm. Seriously. I'm uh, there are parts of our bodies that don't naturally decompose, like teeth and fillings and bones. Uh -huh. So the bodies are placed into vessels to initiate the composting process. Then the vessels look... Um, what see. vessels? Yes, yeah, vessels. I don't <laughs> know. Where do I get the vessels? They, they look like broken off pieces of honeycomb. You can also get nice ones where they have a tree and a pod ready to go, so you become part of the tree as it grows and matures. See, that's kind of cool. That I is kind of yeah, cool. I, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I was that. just saying the same thing. <laughs> you <laughs> just <laughs> die, he's decomposed. Oh, okay. So you were just. Do, do I you want to go out to the forest and die? Are they going to make, yeah, like make me buy a government pod? I don't know. I thought you were afraid to go into the forest. I only like it if it's free. Market if you're gonna die, composting. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the animals, the vultures, they will. The they cured don't. soil is searched for any non-organic materials like titanium hips, pacemakers, or dental work. Any retrieved items will typically get recycled. So they're gonna break you down into compost. But your hips, if you had like a hip replacement. It's not going to compost. You don't want to watch one of those beach combers coming around with a metal detector finding, <laughs> finding <laughs> hips. Have you ever seen how they do that? Do they? they cut the guy's oh, bone off and then just pound a new... Oh, oh man. Oh, boy. No, I don't want to oh. see that. No, no, no. That's awful. No, no. There's not enough bare aspirin to no, take no, care no. of that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it begs the question, do we like this, this idea? Sure. I heard. Who was it? Was it? Was it the morning show? Was Rosie and Alex talking about? Well, I mean, it? wouldn't you rather be buried in like like an egg carton or something rather than in a coffin, right? So you're in the steel well, box. Yeah. Who knows how long you're going to break down and turn into the slime and just sit there in the ground? No, man. I wouldn't want to be buried right? in a coffin. No, heck, no. Put me in a cardboard box and bury me. You want to be part of the KFC pile on the back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the grease and bones. I guess you guys just throw my you guys just throw my ass in the, the lagoon back here. I'd be absolutely fine. What's that out there? Oh, that's Kenny's rotting corpse underneath the tower. It was his idea, not ours. 
Yeah. Well, that's a weird. To- Why are you talking about this topic? Are you thinking the news? Because there's a oh. company that, yeah. that's talking about. Uh, you think uh, I just uh, made uh, it up, Billy? I don't know. I was getting worried that you were on your death topic again. Because you always get so excited about your own tombstone. You want this big monument tombstone. I know you, that you're really into that. I did. Well, I just want to be buried in the ground. That's what I want. You and know? you want a big tombstone? You said right. But um, I, to well, prove that you're a, a man, well, <laughs> right? And yeah, that's part of it, Billy. Yes. Here, guys. And all seriousness, so you do want a tombstone. Yeah, right? and, and I want a park bench put over the the, the grave. Really? Yeah. So the hot okay. chicks could sit there, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, well, I know I'll you're. Be, well, I know you're serious about at least a tombstone. But see, I for remember me, when. But for me personally, I feel like, and I ask the guys. Let's ask the guys too. Is like I feel like it doesn't really matter. It's like if you're cremated, if you're buried, like you're not going to be there. My take is, I don't oh really care. no, what no, do you guys no, think? no, no, Billy, no, no, I, no. You, you know, for reals, for, this is honest goodness truth, dude. I at some some point. I am going to own a piece of land, even if I'm buried in that damn six foot by three foot piece of land. I will own it in my death, what I can't have in life, and I'm going to. Uh, I like that. I don't know. I like that. I like that. that that's what I'm going to do. I want to be buried by the school. I want to listen to kids play. I want to hear the water run. I want to hear people walk over me and have fun out there. Hot chicks sit next to me. That'd be awesome. That's what I want, Billy. I don't want to be stuck in All some right. stupid tobacco can on top of a fireplace. I get your vision. I like that. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. You right. can right. end up in a, a chock full of yeah. peanuts. A mantle can. is no place for you, sir. No. That's for sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah, if that's going to happen, throw me out in the woods, I guess. I mean. <laughs> what about so? But becoming a redwood tree doesn't appeal to you? Turning into a redwood, they put you and they plant you and then they... Sure, why not? Sure, why not? I think that's cool. It has a bit of romance to it, doesn't it? Does. It does. Yeah. yeah, David likes it. I'd, I'd like to be buried in my vegetable garden. I like it. It's doing good this year. You know. <laughs> yeah, you could burn me I, up. And turn I figure me with the amount of toxins, yeah, with the amount of toxins in my body that I have, it'll probably kill everything inside that's growing. There so, that. yeah. yeah, have another smoke, dude. You know, and then yeah. uh, then they bury me and I kill all the trees. Go ahead. Four, four seven nine ten. <laughs> you know what? Should we get to a phone call? Oh, we have a phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd that happen? <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Judy has to say. You're in the air, Judy. No. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to interrupt this man, this this tech talk. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this talk. is a meeting of the minds you're interrupting. <laughs> man. We're, we're on our way to the, our Mensa convention after the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you for thank you no, for wait, calling. I'm done. Wait. Oh no, you're not going anywhere, Mom. You can stay oh, on the phone. God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to call you guys and let you know that Donovan Leach, his son, was born on August 16th, 1967. Oh. <clears throat> Donovan, Donovan Phillips Leach was born on May 10th, 1946. There you and go. And he's still alive, and he lives in County Cork, Ireland. And <clears throat> Dave, what? you still want a wizard, a wizard cape? Yes. <laughs> I have, I have one. Long dream there. I have one. Who doesn't? Do you really? I have. One. Yeah, I actually Do- have. Is well, it could be a wizard cape. It's just it's a cape, and it's it's kind of like a Halloween thing with it's blue and gold colors. And I always look at it, and I think I should give that to Dave, but then I don't want to give it up. It's. I Do you know, have the hat? Birthday. Do you Your have the birthday's hat? Birthday's coming up. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't right, want to give it away. Drop it off at the station. I nice will. I will wear. It, probably. Yeah, did you ever give that present? Okay. <laughs> all right, Judith. Thank you for the call. <laughs> oh, dude. If she well, if she sends you that, she might lose all of she, her magic uh, she, powers. She, she must have to... heard me say before, and it's it's the truth mm-hmm. that I would love to go walking around the forest, mm-hmm. hiking around the forest, yeah, and just. Flip people out well, dressed like a wizard. I love just, that just, about you, Dave. Just walk around the forest dressed oh, like yeah, a wizard. Oh, yeah, she heard you talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. No, Dave used to talk and about it for years. Very and let people watch me, see me, and say, hey, yeah. the hell is that guy dressed like a wizard? And it's a great I go idea. go off into the poison oak. It's a great idea. I love that idea. <laughs> I love poison oak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool, too. Yeah. Just like well, that would be your cosplay, there. obviously. Be a wizard in the forest. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's the life for me. You could be the forest wizard with all the magic powers of the past. I mean, so when you're hiking around, like right now, you don't need a walking cane because you're such a young man. Right. But as you age, like when you get like to be in your 90s, Dave, you should definitely dress up like a wizard and be out there with a cane, just walking and just be fantastic. <laughs> it's like, what's that so, over there? I'm a wizard. Leave me alone. <laughs> Try to go for a hike. You got no respect, you and your Beatles. Because yeah, in your Elvis and your Beatles nowadays, you got to know you're always bugging wizards. I was going to tell Judy, uh, Judith that just called, the very lovely woman that just called, that mm-hmm. Donovan Leach's son actually had a band for a few years in the 90s with Michael Nesmith's son. 
Uh-huh. And the band was called Nancy Boy, and they were actually uh-huh. really, really good. Hmm. Really good. I'm one of the five people on earth that still have that CD. What I kind think. of music was it? It was like alternative rock music, maybe like uh, like the Killers or something like right. that. It was really cool stuff. Hmm. Four seven nine one zero eight zero. We got a break for news, you guys. All righty. So hopefully, it won't be that bad of news. We'll be back after the break. Right? It's the funny news. I hope with lots of jokes. It's the best of Flight 1080 on AM 1080, KSCO, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz.